All through middle school and high school, I was looked at as being the outcast, the, the nerd, the, the geek. Game Master's here, and this year I'll be turning 50. And while that's not the point, uh, the point is that I've been playing role-playing games for nearly 40 years. The allure of them initially was, simply put, uh, it, it allowed me to escape the, the, the real world and, and leave the issues of being bullied and being made fun of and, and being made to feel like an outcast behind. I found people uh, cut from the same cloth as me, and we started to play Dungeons & Dragons. And I imagine that many people, even today, uh, got into D&D or, or, or other role-playing games for very similar reasons. I'm not going to differentiate between RPGs and TTRPGs here. Uh, when I started to play with the paper and dice version, there were no computer games, so it was all referred to as RPGs. Today, however, I, I know that TTRPG, uh, that the anacronym itself stands for uh, tabletop role-playing games, and that's what I used to play as. guys. I'm old and I'm kind of stuck in my ways. So if you hear me call it role-playing games or TTRPG or RPG, to me, it's all the same. But now I'm kind of wandering. Listen, role-playing games not only entertain and, and provide a means to escape the real world, but they also have the potential to promote positive mental health for the players uh, and the game masters. They offer unique avenues for self-expression, uh, emotional catharsis, and, and personal growth, and can foster a sense of well-being and fulfillment. Regarding self-expression, role-playing games often allow players to create their own characters, providing a a platform uh, for self-expression and an exploration of identities. Whether it's through customizing appearances, choosing personality traits, or making moral decisions, players can delve into aspects of their personalities or experiment with different personas. This freedom of self-expression can boost self-confidence. I can encourage self-acceptance and of course it can also nurture a positive sense of identity. I mentioned to emotional catharsis. Because of the immersive nature of role-playing games, they enable players to emotionally connect with the stories, uh, characters, and challenges presented in the game world. From engaging in epic quests to Overcoming obstacles, even experiencing character-driven narratives can evoke a range of emotions, including excitement, uh, triumph, empathy, and even sorrow. By providing a safe space for emotional exploration and catharsis, role-playing games can contribute to stress relief, uh, emotional regulation, and the processing of real-life emotions. This, of course, leads directly into a sense of achievement, of accomplishments. Consider this. Many games, and I'm now jumping specifically to console or, or PC uh, role-playing games, many role-playing games now include achievements. That, in a sense, uh, rewards players for their efforts, from leveling up to unlocking new abilities or completing challenging quests, or even discovering uh, hidden areas. Uh, that sense of achievement, of, of progress and accomplishment can have a positive impact on one's mental well-being. These small victories within the game can translate to feelings of uh, competence, uh, satisfaction, and, and motivation in the real world. Laterally to this are the social connections. Both with online and tabletop role-playing games, players will need to interact and collaborate with others. In uh, online play, for example, you may need to engage in cooperative gameplay. You may join a guild, uh, but regardless, you'll be participating in an online community. Likewise, in the tabletop version, you'll foster social connections there as well. A sense of belonging is created which can directly combat those feelings of... Well, like for me, it was feelings of loneliness and isolation, which is exactly why I started playing all those years ago. Positive social interactions within the gaming community can most certainly promote uh, empathy, teamwork, and of course you're going to develop valuable friendships. Present also are the cognitive stimulations. Listen, <laughs> Role-playing games often feature intricate narratives, wildly complex puzzles, and of course, you'll need to be on your toes as you and your party put your minds together for some... Uh, we'll, it's, we'll call it strategic decision making. Engaging in these mental challenges can stimulate cognitive abilities in problem solving, uh, critical thinking, and well, 
simply being creative. The mental engagement required for role-playing games can actually enhance one's cognitive flexibility, uh, improve one's overall concentration, and of course, it can provide a sense of intellectual stimulation, which in turn directly contributes to one's overall mental well-being. I mentioned at the start of this video that I got into role-playing games to escape the real world. We live in a fast-paced world. Even back in the 80s, things were moving fast and role-playing games can offer up a much-needed escape from daily stressors. Immersing yourself into a captivating game world, exploring the uh, enchanting landscapes and embarking upon world-saving adventures can provide a temporary respite from our everyday life pressures. This form of escapism uh, can recharge the mind, reduce anxiety, and can provide a source of relaxation and enjoyment. Just be careful that you don't lose yourself in that fantasy world. Now, I'm going to thank a few folks here that have given me support. Without them, this channel, this, this YouTube channel, uh, wouldn't be where it is today. But I also want to recognize that by addressing the importance of positive mental health, role-playing games can serve as a very powerful tool for promoting one's own emotional well-being, self-expression, and personal growth. These games have the potential to foster a sense of fulfillment, uh, connection, and, and resilience, and can remind us of the importance of nurturing our own own mental health both within the virtual realm as well as with the paper and dice version of the game. Now let's continue this chat down in the comments. Reflect on the uh, immersive elements of the various role-playing games that you've played and their potential impact on your mental well-being. What aspects of those games really sticks with you, resonates with you the most, and why? Again, let me know in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you embark upon an epic adventure that allows you to prioritize self-expression, connection, and positive growth in all aspects of your life.